New at 10, a popular Des Moines brewing company is facing criticism tonight over comments on homelessness. KCCI's Kayla James shows us how this debate started on social media. My question is, is it okay to camp in the city? Right now, Exile Brewing Company is clarifying comments after this speech at city council. I call the police. I have people camping on my property and they get drunk at about, you know, by the clock and my employees are in the parking lot. They feel threatened. That's Exile owner Amy Tercy. Her son released a two page statement trying to explain the encounters his mother was talking about, saying employees have been assaulted verbally and physically. They always tell me, talk to your city officials. Amy Tercy goes on to praise Central Iowa Shelter Services. KCCI spoke with the shelter CEO, Melissa O'Neill, who says the Tercy family has always been on their side and has gone to support the work CISS is doing. We are undermining all the good that the homeless shelter is doing by allowing these people to come and get breakfast and dinner, a hot meal, and you can see the pictures of them all lined up drugged out, passed out. But some social media users say this is a way of demonizing people battling homelessness. RJ Tercy's statement addresses several different situations before coming to his mother's defense, further clarifying and saying that the two minutes given to speak is not enough time to address something as complex as the quote, homelessness situation. I think that I agree that there is a problem. However, the problem is that people don't have housing, People don't have food. People don't have resources. City Council Member Indira Shoemaker says the city needs to do more to provide these resources. Panhandling and, and loitering and people camping. We have had an increase in these concerns, and that's because we have an increase in housing issues and in financial crises and in homelessness in our city. And these are things that we need to be addressing. And the CEO of CISS wanted to clarify that they do have beds open and they have a low barrier shelter. That means they accept everyone without any precondition so they don't have to have documents or need to be sober to enter the shelter. Stacy.